What's going on, y'all? This Ty kills him, and today we're gonna dive within the sound wave of phenomenal. The presence it presently seems is effortless. My effort is to make impossible look like a definite. Yes, he did. Right out the gate, I start with uh, you. You peep the presence. You can clearly see who I am. I'm uh, big in stature and. I'm still laid back. I'm pretty much like, I know I got this in every situation, even in those cases where in my mind, I may be going back and forth, but I'm pretty clear. I'm pretty clear on the surface, you know, that old thing where things be going crazy in your mind, but the hand doesn't shake. Because of that, everything I do seems to be effortless. It seems like I don't put much into it, but the fact of the matter is I do. It's just the craziest up here and it's pretty straightforward on this level. So since I do that and my goal is to always challenge myself, I look at it like what I need to do is look at what everybody sees as impossible and I need to change that from not only can I do it, but I definitely can do it. So um, following that up, it goes right into Do what you couldn't, you live like skeptics is. Say I can't do it cause you don't believe in your gift Well guess again So I always run things kind of like um, The goal is to do what you can't Or what you think you can't do And my whole idea behind this is just saying don't doubt me because you're unsure of your gift. Immaculate rap and satisfaction, no need to stress the city. What I write shows in sight of my hype. A specialist could slow flow or spit triple. I'm what specialist. The fat lady don't sing in my empire. It's precious, bitch. I follow it up with just saying that my level of rapping is a lot higher than what a lot of rappers is. It's kind of me separating myself um, because. When I say I rap, it's kind of like a weird thing to talk about because it's like, I don't know if you're thinking about a high level lyricist or if you're thinking about the sing songy bouncing ball lyrics. So this is just me saying that what I do is way above that. Then I go deeper into it just to say that uh, I'm building an empire. Now we know the show Empire and we know uh, if you've ever seen Empire, Becky is the character that also played uh, Precious in the movie, Precious. So I'm saying that what I'm doing, it, it's precious. And I'm also saying that the fat lady don't sing at the Empire because it's known that when the fat lady sings, it's over. And she is the fat lady on Empire, but she doesn't sing, even though that's a, a music show. So it's just a play on words about her position in Empire and her are also playing precious. So what are you saying? The bars I'm laying ain't super or recruiting a super saiyan. Don't confuse the weighing with my actions in the ring as if I'm actively playing with anybody. Kill a man, whoever they portray. Going straight from here, the idea uh, is to be phenomenal. So it's saying, for those that's listening to what I'm saying, if you're not looking at it like it's something super, then you're probably lost. Probably because what I'm doing is actually a level higher than super. We're going into Super Saiyan. That's when you uh, get for the Dragon Ball Z heads. That is when you elevate, you go above that high level. This is high, we're all the way up here or off the screen. Am I off the screen yet? Yeah, we out here. You can't see it? Yeah, that's where I'm at. People that know me outside of like music, I joke a lot, I play a lot, I have a lot of fun. And my whole thing is don't confuse the way in with my actions in the ring. So when you see me outside of rap, you may not see that aggressive lyricist, but the moment it's time to rap, that's what you're gonna get. Um, just like you'll see people playing at the weigh-in in boxing or in UFC, you see people blowing kisses and smiling and joking, and then as soon as they get in the ring or the octagon, it's no games. It's straight to the punch and we're gonna get to it. I ended off by saying, whoever you put in front of me, I'm gonna kill them. Not only am I gonna kill them, I'm gonna kill the person that they're acting like. It's pretty much public knowledge that a lot of the rappers that are out here are portraying a character. And my goal is to not only destroy that rapper if they're put in front of me, but destroy the person that they're acting like. I've been jumping out the gym, jumping, jumping out the gym. I've been jumping out the gym, jumping, jumping out the gym. I am, one word, phenomenal. Phenomenal. I don't know, I'm pretty much uh, closed in in my circle, but I know in my circle and growing up, whenever we would see somebody that could dunk or could jump pretty high, you know, basketball terms, we would look at them and say, yo, he jumped out the gym. That's just saying that it's not enough to just be, to jump high enough to touch the rim. You have to go above it. You need your arm in the net. You need to go above that. That is what this whole thing is based on. So if that guy dunking impresses you, my goal is to be so high above the rim 
that you're like, okay, that's phenomenal. It's no way that anybody else can ever follow that. Constant doses of oxytocin inside my psychosis, floating, gloating from shots of dopamine. Constantly, my brain is being pumped with uh, the feel good chemical. That is what we look at as like um, oxytocin. It's constantly being pumped with this. And um, psychosis even going deeper into the brain. This is always there. That's always an element that's there. So that feel good chemical is there. I give off a good feeling when I speak and it's even deeper when I'm putting lyrics together. Because of that feel good chemical, um, I'm always floating. It's just saying that even when I'm not flying or jumping out the gym levels above everybody, I'm floating above where everybody else is. You know, the shots of dopamine is just kind of like injecting more to it to say like, okay, you're high, but let's get higher. Because of that, it sharpens my focus. I'm really, I'm like laser focused. So for those that's know, that know me, that's been around me when I've uh, written verses or freestyled or things of that nature, it doesn't take long. And it's not because I'm just breezing through it. It's because I walk around with this type of energy all day that the moment it's time to put pen to the pad, uh, finger to the phone or brain to the mic, it just comes off effortlessly because I'm already at that level before I start rapping. Sharpens my focus, focusing of being spoke of as what the goat is before I'm ghosted. For those who ain't noticed, y'all probably dope. I can't argue logic with robotic moving, sell out product movement, melodic grooving, still following the wave of auto tuning. Because of that, um, I can't focus on what everybody is saying the GOAT is, the greatest of all times. So I can't focus on that. Um, for the people that don't notice my level and how high I am above this conversation, I have to assume that they're like doping, that they're out of it, they're on drugs, so they're not going to see it as clear as I do. Then I follow that up by just saying that I can't argue with the people that's looking for just the melodic beat. I can't argue with the people that's you know used to the robotic movements, just the people that are Rapper A does this, so rapper B does this, and rapper C does this. If that is the way that you look at the rap game, this whole conversation is levels above where you are mentally at this point. So it's just kind of me boasting and bragging to say, this is what you expect, I'm way above that. And it's just me playing off of that whole uh, conversation we're used to hearing in barbershops. And then I end it with just uh, the light jab of the people that's like so stuck in the past that they're still using auto-tune as if it is the new wave and as if this is like 2007. Y'all ain't movements, y'all in the way of my improvement. I got tools to disprove psychotic illusion. The truth is, I've always been this way. Jump the fly, don't give a fuck if I fall. I say what I want, or I say nothing at all. You so busy wanting the ball, that a check could make you tuck in your balls. I guess that's stunting to y'all. I then make it clear to the people that follow this uh, rhythm, that follow this whole idea of how music is made, I tell them that like, you can't be a movement because it's already been done. There's already been an auto-tune wave. There's already been a melodic wave. You can't be the wave if you're just jumping on it. So it's just me making it clear that you're not a movement if you're following the trends. Then I go in to say that I got toolage, just me saying that my lyrics and the things that I think of is pretty much going to put it into all of that. I'm going to get rid of all of that psychotic ideology that you follow in the wave makes you the wave you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying then i jump uh right into talking about me enough about you guys it's about me my goal is to fly you know and uh i got this idea from um they say birds stand on a branch and they don't worry about if the branch breaks because they know that they can fly so i don't think about falling me falling down from this higher level that i've been floating at and that i fly at when i jump out the gym I don't worry about that because I know my ability to fly. Falling isn't even an idea, isn't even a thought. And it's saying that um, with me boasting throughout this whole song, it also plays to who I am in real life. I'm either saying exactly what I want or I don't say anything. So twisting up my words or trying to say he basically means and things of that nature is not an option. Um, and then it goes back to me pointing out the people that'll do anything for a check. You know, you'll do whatever they say do, um, even if that means tucking in your balls, not literally tucking them in, but tucking your manhood, stop being so prideful, not being so open-minded, not being so outspoken as I am. And then it goes back to me playing to the people that think that the melodic movements is where it's at. I look right at it and I say, I guess that's stunting to y'all. 
If that works for you, then that's your lane. It's not mine. You can tell from the jump the difference of me and them. Their goal is to try to dunk. My goal is to lead a gym. Well, if we look at it just simple basketball terms, um, most of the people that I know that was playing basketball as I was growing up that play now, that's young and they're starting to get into it, um, all had dreams of dunking. And it's just me saying that there's levels to this. I didn't have plans on dunking. I had plans on jumping out the gym. I wanted to be above whoever jumped the highest. So I approached this rap game the same exact way. So while you're thinking of reaching this level because everybody's here, I wanna be, hand up the screen, that's where I'm trying to be. So they can go try to front and say I ain't seeing them while I do what I want and they gon' see me win. I'm past practical moves. If that's you, then that's cool. But me, move to my own beat and make actual moves. Bettering with every situation, this S to the lettering. So the people that can only see um, the dunk, that can't notice what's above the dunk, they'll easily say, okay, you're not seeing him, you're not on his level. And it's true, I'm not because I'm way above it. And then I'll continue to do what I do and I'll win. I'm cool with winning in silence. If you don't know that I'm winning, it doesn't affect me. I know you're unaware and I'm cool with that. But if you are aware, then you'll enjoy the ride. Then I expound on that by saying, um, I'm past the practical moves. A dunk in the NBA isn't really a highlight. It is the dunk that becomes the highlight. So I'm past the moves that where you're just looking to dunk, I'm past that. Um, and then I say, I'm not hating on you. If that's you, then that's cool. If that's what you do, that's fine. That works for you. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and because of that, I move to my own beat. Everybody's going left, I'm gonna go right. Everybody's going right, I go left. If you're gonna go here, I'm gonna go, I'm off the screen, my man, that's where I'm going. And uh, even if you don't notice, I'm actually moving. And since I'm in competition with me, I'm always looking to better me. I'm making moves even if you don't see it, and I'm getting better every day with it, so it's bettering. Me saying that it's etched to the lettering is just kind of saying that I'm looking at every detail. If you ever look at like a design, you look at a shirt, something of that nature, a lot of the times the logo is huge. The logo is the main attraction, that's what everybody draws into. The graphic art, whatever it is, that's what everybody draws into. And I'm saying, yeah, I perfected that part, but I'm so detailed that I'm looking to say, all right, what's going on with this E at the bottom? I'm sure people won't notice, but I notice. So it's just me saying that, yeah, I think that I'm levels above where the average person sits, but I'm also such a perfectionist that I'm trying to detail, I'm trying to fix every detail, even if the people around me don't even notice that it's flawed. You can assist the hating or acknowledge I'm better than the guy you wish to be. Straight out the gate, kill as soon as I hit the lead. Break the ceiling and leave a great building to show I fly. Higher than they restrictions, the bars are led with convictions. Concrete statements to finish my sentence, talk Then I round that out just by saying that um, I'm better than the person you're trying to be. So whoever your goal is, I'm above that. This is a call back to the first verse of Killer Man, whoever they portraying. You are trying to be this person, your goat, and I'm above your goat. So it's just me calling back to uh, what I said in the first verse to kill them and whoever they portraying. Back to basketball terms, we look at like Kobe coming straight out the gate, killing as soon as I hit the league. It, it, this is a big deal. When I get here, you know I'm here. It's a huge deal. It was also a thing when LeBron came in Everybody knew he was coming. He came and was a big deal. So my whole idea behind it is I don't need to warm up. I don't need to build up my way and things of that nature. The moment that I'm put in the league or the industry, in this case, the moment that I'm seen in the industry, it'll be like I came out of nowhere and started killing everything. When in fact, I've been practicing on the sidelines so long that the moment I'm put in, I'm going to kill it. So then uh, I play on the whole idea of jumping out the uh, gym. I say that I uh, break the ceiling and leave a great building. It's saying that, okay, this building is where everybody strives to get to play. So me getting into the industry is where a lot of rappers and artists wanna go to play. But my goal is to say, all right, this is what everybody in the industry is doing. This seems to be the ceiling. I'll break it and I'll leave it. This is also playing on the whole idea of jumping out of the gym. I'm not just cool with dunking. I need to be able to jump to a point where people are like, that's unbelievable, it's impossible, and a call back to what I said in the first verse. I'll make impossible look like a definite. And this is just to tell everybody that I'm flying higher than what you said was the best. 
You said that this is the best you can do. This is where you're restricted past this point. And this is me pretty much saying, no, I'm not. I'm above all of that. A pretty uh, boastful way of me ending it off by saying um, each bar is led with conviction. So it's just to say that uh, my bars, the lyrics I put together, it's a lot of conviction. In it. It's a lot, you, you, you gotta believe it. It's gonna be a really, really, it's, it's really in your face. You gotta believe it, but we can flip it to the other side to say, you know, bars in a jail, once you're convicted, concrete statements to finish my sentence. For those that's ever, that knows anything about the system and the jail system, that pretty much it's concrete. You're in there, you're dealing with concrete and you're dealing with bars. Also, the statements, uh, once things are down or taken down in court or you make a statement or a statement is made against you, it pretty much is what it is. It's not gonna be much wavering outside of that. And I finish off each sentence, each statement is, you know, I'm finishing it off with that kind of conviction every sentence so that that can play for your jail sentence or as i'm playing with it here the lyrical sentence that i'm dropping in each one of these bars so that's it i'm ty kills him i'm phenomenal that was the breakdown of phenomenal and i'm out boom